No Kill Las Vegas and members of the community staged a protest today against what they are saying are inhumane uh, practices at the Las Vegas shelter. Action News reporter Elizabeth Gadley joins us live with what they had to say and the protest. Elizabeth. Don, about two dozen people held signs and marched in front of the Animal Foundation today. Along with staging this protest, No Kill Las Vegas also sent us this 32-page report on the Animal Foundation by the City of Las Vegas. They were out here because of this investigative report that was recently released by the city, which shows a lot of damaging evidence against the Animal Foundation, allegations of abuse, animals left to die in their kennels. The report details various claims by several former Animal Foundation employees. The report also says the Animal Foundation admits that in some cases it holds surrendered animals for only 24 hours instead of the 72 hours required by its contract. The protest was going on while the Animal Foundation was putting on an adoption event. Officials with the shelter say the allegations being made are largely untrue. They asked for the city to do an investigation and the city did that and came back and found that all of the claims that were made were unsubstantiated. So um, all of the information is in the final report if anybody wants to see that. The investigation was launched while the city of Las Vegas was still deciding whether or not to renew the Animal Foundation's contract. No Kill Las Vegas was also vying for the contract, which did go to the Animal Foundation. Reporting live in the studio, I'm Elizabeth Gadley, Channel 13, Action News. Elizabeth